The Seahawks are coming off their first losing season since 2002. The Rams coming off a season in which they lost a franchise record 14 games. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Nice. Glad to be with you here on the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson. Any Tigers and Pat, when you look at these two teams heading into 2009, which one looks like it's ready to get back to the form where it was four or five years ago? For I think Seattle, who Seattle to me, you know, I don't see them as a losing team. I thought injuries just wiped them out last year. Now they're already suffering some injuries this year and they could struggle, but I don't think they'll struggle against St. Louis. They, Adam, St. Louis just lost Adam Carriker, yeah. a defensive tackle. I talked to the uh, Spagnola the other day. You know, he's got the troops rallied up and ready to go, but he also knows what he's up against. They've lost eight straight to Seattle, and going up uh, to that stadium, Quest Field, is very difficult right. for, for any team, especially when you're going in shorthanded. The St. Louis offense last year was really bad last uh, was really bad at, at all parts, but they do have Steven Jackson. Can they use him to the ability and get everything they need from him against Seattle? You know, I think starting with this game and for the rest of the year, yes, Steven Jackson is the bell cow here. It's not like a lot of teams that have two backs splitting the duties. They want Steven to do everything. And I would, too, if I had him. To go back to 2006. The guy caught 90 passes in 2006. They need to get back to that formula. They need to get him in space, not behind that offensive line that's going to have its own problems. More screen passes, more swing passes, more routes out of the backfield. Get him 80 receptions. You don't have to get all the way to the 90. Get him 80 and take the edge off the running game. But he needs to touch the ball 30 times a game. Yeah, now all the parts, though, from the greatest show on turf are gone now that Torrey Holtz with Jacksonville. We've seen Isaac Bruce in San Francisco for a couple of years, and Kurt Warner's obviously there in Arizona, and Marshall Falk is retired. Uh, you talk about Seattle. You mentioned the injuries on offensive line. That was the biggest problem last year. The entire starting offensive line was on IR by the end of the year. Uh, they had lost four or five receivers by week two. This year, at least, they have T.J. Hushmanzada. How much of a difference does he make right out of the get-go? Well, they're a pass to set up the run team. They're a West Coast offense. They love the shallow cross. T.J. Hushmanzada is great at it. Run a little route across the field, catch the ball in the upfield shoulder, and be gone with it. And they've got lots of other weapons. But when we say pass to set up the run, we have to bring the attention back to the line. Chris Spencer, their center, is missing. He's out with an injury. That's going to affect the ability to call the protections. And then you've got your left tackle, who's always a big question mark, Walter Jones. So, yeah, they want to throw the ball 30, 32 times a game. Yes, they are at home. But I'm not going to risk Matt Hasselbeck's health, who couldn't stand upright last year and was sacked four times this summer. I think they're going to run the ball. Julius Jones, I talked to Thomas Jones about his brother, and he said Julius is all excited. Opening day, he thinks he's going to get a lot of work. What about Edger and James? They brought him in as well. Terrific, you know, and he can still run the ball, so don't misconstrue what I'm going to say next. But he is tremendous in pass protections. He's been with Peyton Manning. He understands every blitz he's ever seen, seen them all. He can drop a blitzing linebacker in his tracks. That's his probably his primary role. Julius gets the run. All right, who do you like in this game? I like Seattle. I think St. Louis is in for a long struggle this year, and I think that they know that, and I think they're trying not to take the bait and buy 30-year-old players. They're trying to get this thing turned around. Spags will be creative with the fire zone blitzes. He may tag Hasselback a few times, but in the end, this is a team that's going to struggle to win five games. All right, it's a 4.15 p.m. Eastern start again. The Seahawks have won eight straight against the Rams. For more on this game, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show, presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.